Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome to today's video. For those of you who are new, you might not yet be subscribed. Welcome, my name is Tyler with an O. And for those of you who are already subscribed to Already My People and are just joining me for another video, welcome on back. Let's go ahead and get into it, honestly. So the gag of it all is that I didn't even too much plan to record a video about this. Like, I wasn't even gonna mention it and bring this on here or nothing like that. I honestly was just about to, you know, sit down and chit chat and kiki with y'all like we normally do. And then as I was like, you know, preparing to film or whatever, the company in question literally just DM'd me. And then it like reminded me of the situation all over again and I was just like you know what no I'm gonna talk about this so I was on Twitter or whatever for those of you guys who don't know I do have a Twitter on there I don't be as active as I would like to be I just stay on Instagram when I'm not on Instagram I'll be on Snapchat but if you guys do want to follow me on Twitter it's Tyler with one O that is my Twitter name or whatever but yeah I was on Twitter and somebody had posted a um, screenshot of a post that was made by a hair company. I'm not gonna go ahead and like name the hair company and like blast them and everything, but if you know, you know. Or if y'all know and y'all wanna feel, you know, the family in, then you can go ahead and comment it down below. But my mission in this isn't to like, you know, drag a company or whatever, which honestly it should be because y'all have no problem drag, you know what? I didn't even tell the story yet, so let me get into it. So yeah, they have posted a screenshot from the company's Instagram, and the, the company had made a post on their Instagram of Jordan Woods, and we're all familiar with the whole Jordan and Chloe Tristan Thomas situation that just went down. The company thought it would be funny to post on their Instagram a meme about Jordan Woods. So the meme was something to the effect of, and I actually have screenshots of it, so let me not even paraphrase and let me actually give you the tea so this was the picture um and the meme was when kylie jenner stops paying for your lifestyle including your hair extensions and so it's obviously jordan here with her natural hair and she's rocking a short bob and it looks sickening her hair is looking nice and sleek and shiny and it's a cute bob like there's nothing wrong with it but i guess you know she always wears extensions whatever i'm not even here to talk about the meme what my problem with it is, the company then added, posted that meme, but then in the caption said, bad hair is just one betrayal away. Bad hair where? Bad hair where? Like, what about this is bad hair? Because it's just, a, it's a sickening straight bob. It's a straight shortcut. So what about that is bad hair? Is it bad because she doesn't have extensions in? You know, let's say that that was the reason that that was bad hair. But then you go on the company's Instagram or whatever, and it's like literally the post right before that, if I'm not mistaken, was a girl who was rocking a short bob, mind you, a girl of another complexion and ethnicity, was rocking damn near identical short bob, okay? You didn't say she had bad hair. So what's really tea? So literally, look, if you go to the company's Instagram or whatever, you can see the Jordan Woods post, which they apparently put back up. I don't know if they archived it or, oh, this was their apology or whatever, which we gonna get to that. However, right before that post was a post right here of a girl with a short bob. But y'all didn't say that she had bad hair. And then you look on the company's page and you scroll through the Instagram. Let's just call a spade a spade. I'm just gonna really clock the tea where it needs to be clocked. You scroll down to Instagram, black people contribute so much money to that market and not once on your Instagram have you posted a black customer, a black person, not even a, a oh, okay, here's one. How long ago was this? November 2018 was the last time y'all posted a black woman on y'all on y'all Instagram from the looks of it. Anyways, the problem with all of this is the one and only time that you want to post up a picture of a black woman on your Instagram, on your business page, and, and mind you, this ain't no small little startup company, girl. They have 1.7 million followers. The one time that you wanna give recognition or acknowledge a person of color, a woman of color on your Instagram, is to talk about how she has bad hair because she has a short bob, and how Kylie Jenner and perpetuate the story of Kylie Jenner basically affording her the lifestyle that she has, paying for her hair extensions, giving her some type of allowance as if she's some, as if she's one of her henchmen or something. Y'all, this video was not supposed to be a rant. We were honestly just gonna, you know, sit here and talk about it, but I done got worked up. That shit was literally so disrespectful and so foul, so whack. 
I, I could not believe it. And so I was just like, how is this okay? And so of course, naturally, I screenshotted it and I posted it on my Instagram. And then I tagged them and I said, this is absolute fucking trash. And so of course, you know, when you tag somebody in your Instagram story or you add them in your Instagram story, it'll like send them a DM saying like, you know, Tyler, mention you in this story or whatever which is what's gonna lead me to why they dm'd me and i haven't read the dm yet it literally came as i was, was beginning to film so i was like oh well i guess i know what i'm talking about today it's not even as if this had anything to do with the story you guys literally posted that for no other reason than to laugh at a black girl to put on your instagram for your 1.7 million followers you felt like it was appropriate for you to then go ahead and post a picture and ridicule somebody for not having hair extensions for rocking their natural hair are you kidding me i'm fully aware of like that whole phenomenon of how these companies try to i don't think it's called race baiting but when they like purposely post uh, offensive and controversial stuff um, regarding race or whatever on their page because they know that it's gonna bring attraction and bring traffic to their shit, you know? I don't know what that's called, but I, I know instances of that. This was not that. This was pure like, oh, we're gonna post this, everybody's gonna laugh, we're just, you know, indulging in all the memes going around. And you thought this shit was funny. So after I posted it, I went back and I looked at the comments because I wanted to see what people were saying. Because my assumption is if you feel okay posting some shit like that on your page, then your audience probably is not people who are gonna tell you otherwise, you know? So I was like, let me see what these people are saying. I'm sure they're encouraging and laughing and kikiing at Jordan's expense and everything like that. And I was actually very satisfied to see in the comments so many people were in there talking about like how this is foul, you know, you'll never be getting my money again, like this is so disrespectful, all that other stuff. And people were calling them out on it and they, everybody was aware that, you know, this is the only time that you've ever posted a black woman on your page and it's do, to do nothing but to sit here and mock her for rocking her natural hair. Like how dare you? And I was so pleased to see that. Like I will say that I was relieved to see that. So that happened. I have them and then you know people you guys were like in my uh were dming me about the picture and you're like you know are they are they are you serious this is disgusting like do, is this real everything like that they automatically went over there and deleted the con uh, deleted the picture so then when i went over to their instagram and i was looking at the comments everybody was like oh yeah you know you obviously knew that that shit wasn't right i see that you took the picture down whoop de whoop and it was just like going in so i sit down to record this video and they just dm'd me um, and let me read it to you exactly what they said. So they were like, Hello love, we have issued an apology on our Instagram, but we wanted to take the time to personally apologize for our post yesterday. As a hair extensions company, we share the idea that no hair extensions is bad hair. And even though it was not our intention for this to be racially insensitive, we understand that we were very wrong to share something so negative and to have a laugh at someone else's expense. Your feelings are valid, and we have issued a formal apology to Jordan and appreciate your feedback. Our brand has taken the necessary steps to make our community a place where everyone feels welcome and celebrated. Thank you for bringing this to our attention. We will do better and are deeply sorry. As a hair extensions company, we share the idea that no hair extensions is bad hair what that doesn't make it any any better especially for somebody because i already know your hair extensions aren't cheap or whatever so now you're basically trying to perpetuate the idea that people who choose to embrace and rock the hair that they're born with have bad hair or don't have good hair or the people who can't afford to buy your product or any type of product for that matter have bad hair ethically speaking that's not the message that you need to be sending especially on the grand scheme of things you know that younger and younger generations are having access to the internet and have instagrams and follow accounts like these or whatever and it's just like what are you saying to those little girls who you know obviously have no choice but to rock their natural hair who don't have jobs and can't afford hair extensions and everything like that like what are, what message are you sending to them that Oh, if you don't have hair extensions in your hair, your hair is ugly. Like, you have bad hair. There's girls who have the same haircut or the same hair texture or may, you know, resemble or whatever that picture of Jordan was that you put up there. And they might be in love with their hair. And then they see something like this, a post like this, where you have, you know, these a, a page full of beautiful, gorgeous white women and 1.7 million followers. And then they see that you're basically mocking and ridiculing them and their hairstyle and their hair quality and their haircut and everything like that for not being able to keep up with the Joneses. Like, even if you're apologizing because you knew what was said was like genuinely wrong and you weren't just doing it to save your ass and to save a coin and not get canceled, basically. I can't sit here and stand behind and take back how I feel about you as a company because you're sitting here telling me that you perpetuate and broadcast these messages 
that I just don't believe in and that I don't feel are appropriate. In my opinion, they just put their foot in their own mouth. Like, I understand you're trying to backpedal and basically the whole point of that apology or saying that in the apology was to let people be known that by bad hair they don't mean because she's black, they mean because she doesn't have extensions. You're picking the lesser of two evils here. Like, it's like, okay, is it a company that believes that black people have bad hair or is it a company that basically is telling people that they're natural not to accept themselves as they are and to not embrace and like and admire and want to be confident in their natural hair so it's just like which one are we gonna go with which one is better neither I just know one thing my black ass with my bad hair will not be buying shit from you period ever even if I did wear hair extensions and that's the other thing like people want to talk about oh cancel culture cancel culture you know people are so quick to cancel whatever whatever and what's wrong with that what does it matter to you what somebody decides to stop spending their money on that's the part of the argument that I don't understand so so what if it's cancel culture if you don't believe that a brand should be canceled or whatever then bitch keep buying it if you feel so inclined to keep spending your money at a racist hair company then go ahead and keep doing it but when I say that this hair company is canceled or they're canceled for me personally or I will no longer spend my money or whatever how dare you sit here and criticizing me for not wanting to spend my money somewhere where I don't believe in somewhere that endorses messages that I can't get jiggy with like I, I just don't understand I don't know these people really need to start putting some respect on black people's names like, I'm not even gonna say like this example is like the straw that broke the camel's back the camel's back been broke and I feel like right now we're just at a place where it's just like you know what it's not even gonna be tolerated like that like you're not the only hair company out there and that is the whole point of cancel culture I think what it is is that people fail to realize their power as a consumer and their duty as a consumer as a consumer it's not your duty to use things and to buy things and put your money towards things just because they're cool or because that's what everybody else is using everybody else is wearing everybody else is loving no as a consumer I feel like it's your duty to make your own judgments on products and brands and everything like that and give your money to things to to a company that you believe in to a company that you that you support it's about this is literally why companies have have mission statements and things like that because they tell you what the company is about and it is your duty as a consumer to weed out the good ones and the bad ones and then to reward and give your money to the companies that you believe in and you support so it has nothing to do with bandwagoning and everything to do with support don't apologize just because that's what we want to hear apologize and follow up with some type of action Prove to me that you want to make everybody feel celebrated. At the rate you're going, I don't feel celebrated. All the black girls who spend their hard on earned coin to enhance their natural beauty, not because they have bad hair, don't feel celebrated. Over it, over it. Anyways, y'all, I did have a question for y'all. Um, I was just curious, as far as like uploads and everything, as most of you are aware, I went ahead and I changed like my upload schedule and I went ahead and switched to Monday, Wednesday, Friday as opposed to just uploading every other day like I was just to add a little bit of consistency um, and I did that because um, with me uploading so like you know quick fire and everything it wasn't necessarily a strain on me I just felt like it was hard because you know a lot of people unlike myself don't get on YouTube every day and don't get time to watch their videos every day so I just felt like a lot of people may have been falling behind and weren't able to keep up with my uploads as consistently and then it's like the next time you log back into YouTube I already uploaded three whole videos that you missed and you gotta watch all of them from the beginning or you'll start from the newest one you miss out on the last one you know whatever the case might be so I just figured like you know Monday Wednesday Friday I can give you guys a, the weekend to catch up on videos if you missed them during the week and then you know when you can expect them with that being said this was the question that I wanted to ask you guys what time of day is the best to upload them because like in my thinking and this just kind of goes with my lifestyle the way that I watch YouTube like I watch it while I'm getting ready in the morning and things like that so I like when people upload their videos in the morning because then I have something to watch like when I start my day however I know a lot of people primarily watch YouTube when they like you know get off work or when they're eating dinner or whatever like in the evening so would you guys prefer
prefer uploads later in the day or do you guys prefer uploads in the morning like I'm just trying to gauge where my audience is at you know so yeah y'all let me know about that the base is down you know what that means there's going to be a makeup tutorial to follow so make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on that give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and comment down below on what you thought about today's topic let me know you know what you want to see here on this channel and of course again subscribe so you don't miss out on any more of this Tyler with the no goodness and then I will catch you guys all on my next video peace yeah, that last tutorial I was doing with my mama, so the makeup was real light and real light. I don't know, but I didn't want the people to think that I can't be. Like, that would be so embarrassing if that was, like, that was the first video that somebody seen on my channel. And then they saw how I did my makeup, and it was just like, that's it. Like, that's how you do your makeup. No, girl, this is a base. Okay, what you saw on that video was slight work, and I said that. So pay attention.